Skulinde! <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Uh... <laughs> I... Oh shit, I forgot I could have it listen here. I panicked because I couldn't find the map. <laughs> like, I started to stream, but then I didn't stream that I recorded instead of streaming. And then when I clicked the record button, which I was supposed to be clicking the stream button, it removed, like, cursor just went invisible until I, re uh, until I, like, sh turned off the computer and turned it back on. Um, hi. Welcome to the stream. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, hi. Uh, the, the chat information should be on top of the video stream. Okay, it's starting. I need to adjust this. Oh my God. It's always so loud in my ears. I'm sorry. It's always so loud. Okay, what are we? What are, what am I gonna get destroyed with today? They're good, 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 good. Exactly what I want. What is happening with this? Also, is that Pearl? That that's gotta be Pearl's tech. Also, you have dualies. That's not your main weapon, though, is it? Oh God, girl, power station again. Oh my God. What the hell is this? Is this a horde mode? No, this isn't a horde mode. What is this? Did side order take pl- Oh. Yo, new Octarian buddy. Yo, wait, isn't that- Yo, uh, uh, that's that fucking- That's one of the fucking artists. That's one of the other artists. Oh shit! That's big! Also, yeah, that is straight up Pearl. Oh, that's, that's, that's huge! <laughs> Octo Expansion 2.0! Octo Expansion 2.0! Octo Expansion! Oh shit, you can actually upgrade your shit? Is it like a roguelike? No, it's not. But you can upgrade yourself. You can upgrade your shit. And you start off with dualies. Oh shit, you can like upgrade a lot. Oh my god. Splatoon 3 expansion pass. Oh man. Yo, you're gonna make this interesting out the gate? Fuck. Alright. Hello everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi. I'm sold. I'm your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. You just saw a new trailer for Wave 2 of the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC, Side Order. I'm super sold. This brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you'll strengthen you your character's you abilities oh, as you, can. you ascend the Spire's floors. Okay. We're developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over again. It's planned to release in Spring 2024. Oh, it's coming next year?! What? Okay, let's see our first batch of Nintendo That's so Switch so long. Ah. Uh, what? No, they're not making a new one, are they? No, they are. They is it a remake? No, it's a remake. Mario. Here we go. heated up on the Game Boy Advance system. I love this game so much. Nintendo Switch system. Oh, with his eyes on the prize. Oh my god, they remade all the fucking anime. I fucking love this. And it's up to Mario to Yo, they just remade all of the fucking animations on the Game Boy. In each stage, oh my god. And other oh my god. Oh. Observation and action Yo, are vital to your I'm... success. Mario needs Holy to shit. The key. But he can't quite cross the gap. Oh my god, this is my childhood. This is literally the first that Mario game I ever played. It's a little suspicious though, doesn't it? If Mario does this, now he can get across and safely grab the key. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip like that. 
Oh my god. It looks so, so polished. To collect mini Mario's, it looks so good. And face Donkey Kong head on. It looks so good. In this holy shit of the game, you can play with a friend in local <gasps> co-op. Oh my god, and it's multiplayer? You choose to puzzle your way through. It's up to you to Fuck. recover the toys. That's Okay, Pooch is definitely playing Mario this game with me. Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo Switch February Oh my 16th. god. Oh my god. Today oh my god. That's huge. I love that game. Save the Prince. Oh, Prince of Persia is coming world. to Switch? Or is it getting an announcement now guide sargon as he sets off to I don't remember it saying it was coming to switch and restore the world's balance cuz i i think this game looks Tapping really interesting the, of the prince of persia series this game features 2d side scrolling action adventure gameplay dash that, that's my, some of my favorite type of gameplay persian inspired world but don't linger too long if you hope to survive Harness sword and bow techniques. Yeah, sword as Prince well as looks really good. Yo, they brought Mario vs. Donkey Kong out the game, and I know no one, Sargon no one's gonna be flaming fuck about those games. But they are. They, that was my first ever Mario game that I ever played and beat. The number of amulets you can equip is limited. I played and beat that game before I beat Mario Two, the Mario Advance uh, on Mario Advance. World and defeat the mythical beasts that stand in your way. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Mount Calf. Because I beat when Mario Persia, 2 before I even ever beat Mario 3. I never beat Mario Nintendo 3. Switch system, January 18th. You can receive the in-game Warrior Within outfit by pre-ordering the game from Nintendo Again, Nisha. I'm interested. Maybe I might get it on PlayStation, though. These games will help you chase your passions. Is it racing? Rev up okay, okay, it's racing. Arcade racing in Horizon Chase 2. Speed through stunning environments, each with its own dynamic okay, art style, that's neat. while overtaking um, your rivals. I'm still on the, on the high of Mario vs. Donkey Play Kong, though, because that also means that the music's gonna get redone, and I love some of those tracks. You can also that game looks so, and it's and, and it's co-op. It would only be bet so much better if it was online, which it's action, not. But up to four speed God, can put the pedal to oh, the metal fuck shit! A new puzzle platformer I can play. With my partner and probably do a series two. later. Launching on Nintendo it's very Switch good. I'm. Today. Oh, that's coming out today. Nice. Uh, Warm up for musical huh? mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Super crazy Time rhythm castle. With the music to solve puzzles and battle bosses. Over 30 thrilling tracks away. Okay. Music from iconic Konami games. Up to four friends can battle it out in versus modes or jam together in local or online play. Okay. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin today uh, on Nintendo all right. Shop. Looks interesting, I guess. Not interested, though. What? Hi, Spy Family. What the fuck? Assignment from school. Creating a <laughs> what the diary. fuck? On weekdays, you'll head to class, uh, then enjoy family time in the game. evenings. On days Nintendo, off, please. You, all sorts of you don't need to attack me with like adorable Beach Anya directly. Or an art museum in search of subjects to photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya yeah, they're, make? They're really focusing Spy on um, Operation from Anya a lot. On it's, it's called Spy X Anya. <laughs> That's funny. Mario's first RPG adventure uh, returns. Yeah. The we Super know. Mario RPG game is back with updated graphics. Yeah, we you showed Let's that off already. Some new and returning gameplay features. Well, I guess we're getting more Time information. Your button presses with action commands to increase damage Ooh, dealt. The music is so good. Increase damage received. When you your attacks, you can now damage all enemies at once. Oh. Oh, that's a good Every change. Successful action command will fill this gauge. When that's gonna full, make the game a lot easier. Unleash the three character triple move. Oh. Depending on your current party, the move will change. So experiment with oh, different shit. combos. Oh shit! That's actually really interesting. Hey, booster. During your adventure, you'll encounter Ooh, that with fucking sax. personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. Oh. But these powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy. Okay, so they so you can actually fight the bosses again. Okay, Booster just has an insta-kill, because of course he does. 
set off for adventure with Mario. Oh, the shiny sun is reacting. Oh, they're they're bringing back Culex. Oh, they they 100% are bringing back Culex. Oh, that they they totally showed the Culex boss transition. Oh shit. Hey. Is this Look alive. We're almost there. What the fuck? Is this a Tails game? The Nintendo DS game, Trace Memory, returns on the Nintendo Switch system as another code to memories. One I've day, never a heard of it. A girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Seeking answers, okay. she sets off for the solitary blood this is a DS game? in search of him. Got a glow up, it looks Once like. There, Ashley encounters puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. Oh, this looks this looks a little interesting. Is there a mystery? It kind of reminds me of Zero Escape a little, or maybe even um, um, Corpse Party. Can you see me? She also meets a mysterious boy. What truths await Ashley in this place? Ooh. And no matter how hard this I does try, look actually I very interesting. Face. I don't know if I'd get it though, but. It does look interesting. Who are you? The sequel, Another Code R, Journey into Lost Memories. Oh, so it's previously two games. Released in North America is also included. So this is like Juliet, huh? Play both games to experience the full story. Unravel both adventures, fully enhanced for Nintendo Switch. All right. When Another Code Recollection. I'm sure that's really. January 19th. I'm sure that's really big for all the fans of this. Today like, because this is one of those like niche games I've never heard of it in my entire life, but it's probably a small Another subset Code of people that will love it. Includes two games: the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory and its Wii sequel, which was never released. Oh, in Wii North sequel. Okay. Are fully enhanced on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, good for them. Please look forward to playing them early next year. Next, please take a look at this. Oh God, new Kirby game, let's go. Oh, it's the Peach game, right? Or is it Mario Wonder? No, it's the Peach game. It's gotta be the Peach game. One day, a loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. It's the Peach game. Princess the Prin Peach Princess and Peach game for Nintendo Switch. But then... Oh. The wicked grape and the sour bunch suddenly <laughs> the made their wicked grand entrance grape. and took center stage. Oh. Okay. Now it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. So it's this perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. So is this like? Luckily, old. Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the sour bunch. Okay, but is this like Little Big Planet? Because this feels like Little Big Planet. The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So let's do this. Let's do what? Dance? And now she's Cinderella. Whoa! Peach oh. transformed into Sword Fighter Peach. Oh shit! By Different outfits. She can use fantastic show-stopping abilities. Fend off the Sour Bunch with so it's a 2D action game. Okay. Can Peach save All this right, performance Peach. and its performers? It's a it's a 2D hack and slash. There are more stolen shows to save. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become Detective Peach, mm. investigate clues, and track down who done it. All right, all right. Desserts have been snatched There's from a the hook. Sweets Festival. Turn into Patissier Peach and save oh, it that's from pretty a cute. sugar crash. That is pretty cute. The and there's like little mini games, I'm sure. This martial arts school. Become Kung Fu Peach so this and is... take it back from these foul Ooh. Yeah, all these Peach outfits, I expect there's going to be art of all, like, all of them. I really like the Sword Fighter and Detective Peach. Many other Detective transformations Peach. are just behind the curtain. The stage is set. Yeah, they're Our only showing off these four. For the spotlight. There's probably very many more. Princess Peach Showtime makes its debut on Nintendo Princess Switch Peach Showtime. March 22nd. Pre-orders begin today All right. on Nintendo eShop. I'm I'm down. It feels like um. That was a new it feels different enough than the Mario games. 
In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today. There so are. So please stay tuned. Let's continue with some more headlines. I'm down. I'm absolutely down for that. A new saga oh, hey. begins. I've heard of those. A multi-layered RPG full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. They had like a bunch of other Saga games just come out, from. right? A young man who fights with sentient puppets. A witch disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. I'm sure that won't get fan art at all. A fighting duo chasing down a mysterious organization. A songstress mech who lost her voice and body. Hmm. And a king of darkness who was recently reawakened. These are definitely anime Select tropes. A hero, then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds as they strive to achieve their goals. Hmm. How the story unfolds is in your hands. The choices you make can unlock different paths more that than Peach ever game... before seen in the Saga franchise. I'm definitely interested to see more of it. Fight in timeline battles. Turn-based combat in which turn order is crucial to victory. Timeline Use battles? special techniques to control the order of actions. <coughs> or activate team combos to swing See, the you say that. In your favor. I thought you were try trying to fight across time and space. Saga Emerald Beyond launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Okay. But what about this year? I mean, a I know we already have... Raider oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The first three Tomb Raider Tomb collection, games, not bad. With upgraded visuals, are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. Yeah. As the fearless archaeologist Lara Croft, you travel the world and face off. It seems like they kept a lot of the graphical style, except legends. rounded out the Climb, the, the triangles that were on Lara, Lara and Croft. Swan dive through perilous quests spanning different. I mean, hey, this is pretty huge mythologies. for those that really like the Along um. The way, You'll solve puzzles Tomb Raider to games. I never played the them, world. and I know and that they're very um, iconic. To the ravages of time. This faithfully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. Nice. You can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded okay. visuals. Okay. No, any that's time. good. Give the option. The Tomb option's Raider always one nice. Tomb Raider remastered, starring Lara Croft, launches on the Nintendo Switch. I know this game. This February year's 14. already been packed with games, so we don't need more. E but you know, like, just let me know what's about to come up. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. This is like the third game we've already known about, but okay. Every great detective starts their day early. This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. The detective duo of Pikachu and his partner Tim. Yeah, I don't think we needed this so soon cases. when we still While don't know when the game's coming hair, out. Tim's Unless, no, father. it's coming out in October, right? Tim interviews people. Pikachu. Oh, this is just Professor Pokemon. Layton. This and is just Diet Professor Layton with Pokemon together. involved. That's all I know. They'll also rely on other Pokemon but it to does. the scope of their investigation. I, I hate that this game looks so much better than Follow Scarlet and Violet do. Growlith. Like Smash Rocks with Darmanitan. If this if these graphics were in and the newest Pokemon game, here through walls with Luxray. Then like, you know, Ken Tim and Pikachu probably wouldn't be getting so much backlash. And find Harry? Now, find out when Detective Pikachu returns. Launches on Nintendo Switch. Oh, well, you know, I get okay. 6. Talking about it now makes sense, I guess. Are but this, now I don't think this. Should, uh, I think this could have been an, an just like an announcement. This game's a real toot. Really, trombone and champ. Okay. <laughs> Raise your that's a weird. That's a weird fucking champ. drop. I'm not upset by Trombone Champ. The music is best you can. It was such a meme game back like a few months ago, or even like mm, must have been like a year at this point. But can now, can you play Nintendo songs with this? You gotta. And down. Or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls are pretty unique and mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park no come on they gotta add nintendo songs Talk in here your way through nearly 50 songs spanning various genres from classical to electronica and everything in between Plus, up, to up to four, four players can, can toot together, together in local please 
Please clip that, someone. Trombone champ, oh, and it's on today. Nintendo Switch later today. Oh fuck, that's crazy. Battle your way to victory RPGs? in these Nintendo Switch games. RPGs. The f oh, oh god, this sounds like copyrighted Ten teams music. Of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. What is this? Oh, Battle Knock Crush. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow or shove him off the collapsing you know, terrain. You know, I'm win. not opposed to this because it looks Choose like a MOBA Battle Royale and I don't think we've had that yet. By a different mythology. Work with your allies to be the last team I'm, standing. I'm not opposed to this being a Battle thing for is people. Free to play and launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch and it's, next spring. And it's free a to play. Beta test will be available this October. I'm just worried about the lasting power Lead of your that. Your mercenaries to fame and fortune in this open world tactical RPG. War Take up various contracts from protecting townsfolk from thieves to vanquishing the land's most notorious it figures. It sure looks Before like battle, a tactical RPG <laughs> with the, best with the tiniest to text victory. imaginable. To see what the day. fuck? Up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast oh, world. Oh, that's so neat, but War none of my friends are going to want to play this. exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Okay. Run and gun. Chrono and Trigger? I meant Chrono Trigger. Beloved Contra. That's what I meant to Contra. say. Blast through Chrono explosive trigger. stages with a I recognized the C and I said fucking Chrono Falcon Trigger. Forces. Okay. Spring into action with easy pick up and play controls and a variety of difficulty. Yo, options. so is this just a Contra this reboot? Reimagining from Konami and Way Forward features uh, new Uh, yep, it feels like Way Forward. Enemies. It feels like the budget Way Forward, though. Attacks. And a four-player co-op mode. Contra. It's local Operation though. Operation Galuga storms Look. onto the Nintendo Switch system early next year. So it looks like a Contra reboot, which Liberate I'm down with. Your kingdom, reclaim your destiny. Uh, I feel like I recognize this. Tis a grievous tale which speaks um, of Fifth, one of stolen I, destiny. Is it commanding conquer? Stolen minds and stolen nations. Yet, as the world stands consumed by immense evil, a no, it's an RPG. Rise again, ring of legend lighting his Is path. it a bravely default? What is this? That is the ring of the unicorn. Ancestral oh, it's another square. <laughs> Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil. Yet the this looks like Fire Emblem. Now. It really is the trying to be Fire Emblem, bear, though. Like, and look at this. Now is to walk it. Walk it, I will, mother. Freely traverse an expansive world. Gather new allies. Forge your bonds. I could be and wrong. The liberation to I could be wrong about the HD 2D. Cultivate a but it looks like a square game and it looks like it's Fire Emblem. From humans We're trying to, to be Fire Emblem. To massive beasts and heavenly angels. Today marks our first I'm not exactly sure. Mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, or even years, but I God, shall so many games. Of my bloodline fulfilled. Atlas. Oh, Atlas. Nowhere, present the rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. <laughs> Available March 8th, 2024. <laughs> that was so epic of a fucking trailer and you call it Unicorn. Luigi. Luigi, 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 Luigi. Luigi! 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 Luigi's Mansion 2! Luigi! They call it fucking Unicorn Overlord. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. They called it 2! They fucking called it 2! Welcome to Evershade Valley. Fuck you, Dark Moon! They called it 2! The supernatural. Uh, Luigi, our faint of heart hero, <laughs> was sent here to check it uh, out. Are we gonna get Scare Scraper again? Time for some. Because I mean, there's no point have. in not putting it in this game. Because it's this started Scare Scraper. No spooky adventure is complete without this vacuum-like device, the Poltergust. This is the Poltergust 2000, Use it right? To light up dark areas. Or is it 4000? It, it was either two or four. Interact with the environment. It's a handy tool for your paranormal escapades. It does look good. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! You can stun them with the strobe ball. 
Then vacuum them up. You can even grab multiple ghosts they, at once. They really did just um, polish up the original because, like, it does feel or the, the game, original too. Find ghosts haunting a former plant research lab. So. I still think three a is better, down clock factory but that's for what they could do with two, ice and snow, they did and even do well. I'm just, These I wonder if they made the fucking the third boss better. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different multiplayer modes. Wait. It's only Luigi's four? Luigi's Mansion 2 but HD. The Scarescraper from Luigi's Mansion 3 hugs up to eight. Summer. What do you mean it's only up to four? Why not just copy it? How was that? What Next, you know? we have two announcements to share. Oh boy. First, please take a look at this video. Um, what? Mario? Is it the new voices of Mario? What is this? What is this? It's a question block, but it's in real life, right? What's that? It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. What? The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. Oh, okay. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. Where is it? Construction is going well, and we plan to finish up by March 2024. I mean, that's a pretty information, such as the opening date, at another time. I think that's a pretty good idea to have, because a lot of people like to cherish Next, Nintendo's history. We'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. The Zelda and Ganondorf Amiibo figures are releasing yeah. on November 3rd. And Amiibo figures of Noah and Mio from the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game will good be released for them. as a set on January 19th, Super good for them. And finally, we have a new Amiibo figure to announce. Oh, it's, it's a DLC um, fighter from Super Sora, Smash right? Brothers Ultimate. Sora from Kingdom Hearts is on the way. With the release of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate yeah. in amiibo form. Please look forward to its release next year. Sora's like the only other one left. That's all for today's amiibo announcements. Next, please take a look at this. Oh boy. New game. Oh boy. New game. Arms 2. Oh uh, hey. Hold on. Is this a- this is a new F-Zero, right? First F Zero game. Oh, what's a new? Returns as a 99 player battle royale. Holy shit, that's awesome! F Zero 99. Please don't remove this. Race on classic F Zero courses with machines from the original Super NES game. Okay, F Zero 99. I'm races, down for that. But be careful. Your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guards. Because like, if this is the zero, natural. This is the out. natural. Um evolution of F0 avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. And hey, this technically counts as a new F0. Feeling risky? I remember Spend seeing rumors about that. For a temporary speed boost. No, like this is because this cuz F0 is always about a bunch of fast cars running down the lane simultaneously, the so like skyway. it ter it perfectly it's works for this format. At bypassing your rivals and jumping into a higher position. Complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options. So this is for like free on NSO, right? It's gotta be. Because I mean, the, players, one winner. This is. It's time I would to race your way. I would absolutely see this. Um, because F zero ninety nine will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch Online members. Later today. Oh, it's out today. Well, I still have work, so I can't play it now, but. More than 30 years after its original release, F Zero is back as a battle royale game. That's not bad. This Just don't make it. Supports the Super NES controller Just don't make it limited. Exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Like, keep it on forever. We hope Although, Pac Man 99 also slowly place. dwindled okay, and then was being shut down. With some more headlines. So. 
I don't know how staying power. Little hero, one humongous. Is this not Fay Farm? Welcome to Bandle City. What the fuck is this? Land inhabited by small fuzzy beings called Yordles. Bandle Tale. Oh, it's the League of Legends game. As soon as I said Yordles, I'm like, oh right, those are a thing from League. Into chaos. It's up to you and your knitting magic to see. So this is completely different than League. Journey across the land. This looks like fucking baby's first sea of stars. As you continue gathering and crafting, you okay. can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Enchant your experience even further by embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. Can you save Bandle City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? Bandle Tale, a League of cool. Legends story, launches on That's Nintendo thing. Switch next year. Wait, did you hear that? No. Join best friends. New oh, is it the other Nora League of Legends story? The frozen wilds of the Freljord. Jump. Climb. This is the other League of Legends story and thing, right? Through a beautiful yet treacherous land, where every step taken and each puzzle solved will bring you closer to the truth about these friends and their past. Song of Nunu, a League of Legends story. Song of Nunu. On the Nintendo Switch system November 1st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Let's move into formation. Okay. Trip with these chops doesn't feel like a prize. Ah. Oh no. Right, Wario's voice is different now. This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body also. Moving. Hold In up, micro game. You get into a specific. Is there? Are they doing limited voice acting form. again? Copy the form shown, then perform the correct action <sighs> as quickly. I don't can. know how to feel about the, how they're taking the WarriorWare games now. I mean, micro I'm perfectly fine with this another, style. So look alive. Alongside with you know DIY, uh, not DIY. Um. Get it together. Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Okay. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Free. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. I. With over 200. I'm excited for this game still. And multiplayer mode but WarioWare Gold was Everyone's such a, a good Wario fucking Wario game. Movement. It was Watch such basically the Switch perfect WarioWare game. It's hard to, to like stand up to it. On Nintendo e -shop. And they keep doing less with each new game. A heroic tale will soon unfold. Okay, it looks like an RPG. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle and put an end to an empire's invasion. Aiden Chronicle. Meet Noah. Never heard of it, but it's another RPG. Sane, an officer from the Empire, and Marissa, a forest guardian. Marissa. These three band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their cause. <clears throat> This is your home base, known as One of them was like Adult Marnie, I think. I, I like briefly you, looked. Additional facilities will become available. You'll be able to tend crops, open shops, and more. Each hero you encounter has their own backstory and motivation. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust, betrayal, justice, and truth. It, it's an RPG. Begin. When Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes launches on Nintendo Switch, April 23rd. Participate in some pixel perfect play. What? Next stop, Octopia. Oh. Travel to a charming parallel oh. world. Is that DLC for Eastward? for Eastward? Okay. Help Sam and I, John I was interested in Eastward. New chapter as they adjust to country life in Never a really mountainside got to the, village. Just play it. Tend to livestock, whip up culinary delights for your neighbors, and restore buildings to help the village thrive. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. Eastward Octopia ventures onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Okay. 
get back into the groove. Is that? It, that's not advanced. Oh, it's war groove. Charge across three oh. tactical campaigns with valiant factions. I see. I see. Faction, the Fari. Plus, you can now supercharge your commander's groove to unleash devastating attacks. Because I Lead thought this was like the Advance Wars um, spiritual successor. Battle friends locally or online. Or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. War Groove 2 marches onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive October 5th. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! today on Nintendo eShop. Nice. Is that Abzu? What is this? Dive and catch fish by day. So it's not Subnautica. Then what is this? Then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. Dave the Diver? Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes okay. and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore an ever-changing underwater world to find the best ingredients and strive to exceed culinary expectations. Dave the Diver launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Pre-orders and a free demo swim onto Nintendo eShop later today. Okay, cool. It's neat for this little game. We're getting close to the end, though. The final wave is oh, racing boy. in. Here's a sneak peek at oh, wave six. Oh, there's the fucking the final oh. wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe booster. Is that course Daisy Circuit? DLC from the Mario Kart that's, Wii game. Yeah, that's from Daisy yeah, this Daisy Circuit from More Wii. Returning characters are also being added in wave six from the Mario Diddy Kart Kong. Double Dash game. Diddy Kong. Funky Kong. Kong. Yo, Funky. Funky. Kong. Funky's back. Biggest from DLC. The Mario Kart Tour game, oh shit, Pauline! Okay. And also, Peachette. Oh no, really? You're gonna bring Peachette into this game? Oh no. You want the fucking Bowsette porn to restart again? Wave six of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe the game the drives onto Nintendo Switch yeah. this holiday. You gotta bring out back to Peach Ed. You remember Switch what happened the last time you made Peach Ed? We had three no waves of cost. porn. So, you know, you made a good decision here. <laughs> Something new is a Oh, new us. map? Finally, new map? Finally, new map? Hello, ship. Are we getting a new map? We're getting a new map. Oh, we're gonna get a jungle map. It can't be a new game mode, right? The dropship's gonna be part of it. Right? Or not. No, it's just explosive. Oh yeah, there's the dirt this dropship. Their animated cutscenes are really good. Oh man. Oh man, there's there's fucking camouflage. The fungal. This new map for Among Us is free and launches this October. <clears throat> That's big. What did you think? Thanks for sticking with us. This <clears throat> and it, I think it, they they're uh, trying to make it like another Next polis. Up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Why Let's are you look. announcing a new? Why are you doing that? Are you going to announce a new fucking? You're announcing all the ones that you can play right right now. I'm. Or just to let you know, like, what can you get this year? Because, like, unless they're doing a, a, a one last thing, uh, like, I don't think it's going to be the new console that they're going to release soon, because there's all these stuff coming out next year. So, what are you, what are you planning, Nintendo? What is this last thing? We hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. 
This next video will be our last announcement. Please I'm not prepared. Look. What is it? Oh! No, I wasn't prepared! 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 I was not prepared! I wasn't prepared! I was not prepared! Thousand-Year Door, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. Oh my Whether god. the original or have yet to play it, we hope you look forward to experiencing this adventure in a paper world oh. starring Mario and friends. Oh man. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Okay, I wasn't prepared. Listen, I don't care if it's a re if it's an HD remaster of it, of it. We fucking have a Paper Mario game that's proper. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo. I. Yo, this direct was great. <laughs> this is so good. I was not fucking prepared for that. I. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Dude. Side order. I don't like that it's coming out in spring of next year. Because I feel like that should be this holiday. But maybe they're not done yet. I can wait. But it feels like the waiting is always 100%. Just. I don't know. I mean, they can take their time. There's just not a whole lot to do. There, there's gonna be like what, another uh, two another season before that drops. Side order, and then Mario versus Donkey Kong. Like that is just a personal W for me. Cause I'm like, oh no, they're gonna do like another one of those like bullshit fucking sequel Mario versus Donkey Kong games. No, they they remade the goddamn original. They remade the game that was supposed to be based off of Donkey Kong 94, which is one of the best Game Boy games ever made. And it looks so fucking polished. Like, I played this shit on Game Boy Advanced, and it looked really good for the time. They they pushed they pushed that console 
really hard with what they could do. And this looks so good. They got they, they got the puzzle platforming style down. Everything is all grid based, so you know exactly where you're supposed to go. Mario still retains his shit. They remade all the cutscenes. Everything that was just a fucking still a screenshot. They redid all the animation and all the cutscenes. They redid everything. They redid everything. They redid it, and they made a co-op. They didn't need to make a co-op. They didn't, absolutely did not need to make this co-op. They didn't. They didn't. But they did. They fucking did. They made it co-op. <laughs> oh, where where the fuck? Where the fuck is it? Where the where the fuck? There. They. They like. Oh, they didn't need to make a co-op. But look at this. They fucking. I'm just gonna gush about Mario versus Donkey Kong for a second here. So like, this is like the first cutscene, right? They show off that Donkey Kong really wants these minis. They have him actually running. Before, they just had like a still of him running and some audio. So that it gives you the illusion that he's running to the next thing. Like a, like a picture book, like a storybook. But no, they went all the way. They went out of their way to fully animate this fucker, going into the thing and stealing all the minis. They went through all the effort to do that shit. They didn't need to do that, but they did. They absolutely could have just stuck with the original shit and it'd be fine. They could just make CGs of each and every character on the screen and it'd be fine. But they didn't. They put extra effort into that. It looks so good. And I can't wait for the fucking music to come out. I'm so passionate about this. And safely grab the key. Like even the rhinos look cuter. Like, who the fuck was thinking about the rhinos in this game? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip. They even got Mario like doing his voices, and it's not bit crushed to hell because you know that's all the Game Boy could do. Like all the different puzzles are here, and they're probably gonna have all the the puzzles and all the extra puzzles and getting all the shit that you can get. You can do the Donkey Kong boss battles, and everything's fully animated properly. Donkey Kong seems to have more health this time because I don't think he had four, unless, unless he did, and I just forget. But you also have like the minis as cards, this updated version of the game, you and can you can play with, play with a toad. However, you choose. To Is there co-op separate levels though? Like, are there like co-op specific levels, or do you just play the main game in co-op? You can play with a friend in local co-op. Because it seems like these are co-op. Wait. Oh, hold on. There's a lock on that. Um, the 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 fucking ghost key wasn't there before in the original. So there's a lock on the key that you have to go to first in order to a uh, lock on the key, a lock on the keyhole before you can put the regular keyhole in. I wonder if they're co-op specific. Cause I wouldn't be I wouldn't be upset if they were co-op specific or they changed the level slightly to match co-op a bit better. Like I'd be okay with that. However you choose to puzzle but your way through, it's up to you I... to recover the toys. <laughs> Mario vs. Ugh. Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo Switch February 16th. Pre-orders begin today. this is a childhood Nintendo highlight. This is a childhood highlight. Like, this is almost entirely nostalgia bringing this game to the forefront is one of my top picks for this Direct. It's almost entirely nostalgia. I understand that. I understand most people aren't going to give a fuck. But this game, the first Mario vs. Donkey Kong and the original Donkey Kong 94, which they should put on NSO, but the Mario vs. Donkey Kong on Game Boy Advance was the first Mario game I ever beat and the first Mario game I ever played. Then I played Mario Advance 1, which was Mario Bros. 2. So this holds a special connection to me because I love that game. I love that game so much. I played every single Mario vs. Donkey Kong up until Wii U because I loved this game so much. Even though they deviate hard from the original and I don't think they're as good because of it, I still stand by that like, I'm passionate about th this game. Fucking W. God. Okay, what else do we have? We have Side Order. Side Order is um, certainly looking like the most interesting. It looks like it's just gonna be um, 
um, Octo Expansion Part 2. But I think... Here's the thing. I think that it's um, definitely got a lot of things about it that I'm like, what's the story surrounding it? Like, clearly we're trying to, like, infiltrate a base or, or a company. And then this shit, this woman is from one of the bands and she was she was um, a sanitized octoling and I remember she had shit with Marina which they I guess confirmed here um, I don't know if Marina's the bad guy if she's being controlled for the sake of order but like we have many challenges here and also more um so it's is it like a roguelike of some kind? I wouldn't say like a roguelike per se, but like there's different like mo modifiers, like like kind of like um like one of those arcade modes in um in like fighting games where you you travel between like three different difficulties, um but each floor gets progressively harder and harder until you get to the top to fight the boss but it's going to be a story mode so like you m manifest your way around things I guess Ugh. okay huh I don't know the, the damage numbers make me think that like they're obviously important somehow so you get to up your damage in some capacity And you're using the dualies. So can you say and change any weapon? Can you pick any weapon you want? Or are you just stuck with the dualies? Dually, curling bomb, and reef slider. Is that like your basic... Uh, your, Or is that, I guess, is the cannon... Uh, the cannon weapon set that they're getting? <clears throat> also, that scouter, really cool. I saw that earlier, and then there was, like, another upgrade they got. That's probably, like, the final boss. Oh, yeah, there. That. Um. Oh, oh, she's damaged. But she has a blaster, it looks like. And then there's the duallys again. So you can pick different weapons. I think if I could just go whole roller, then I'm 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 a fucking do roller only as be as best I can. But this shit looks fucked. Like this looks like some fucking utopian bullshit. Ah. Hmm. Side order is interesting. Very interesting. Fucking added Peachette to this game. Why? Of all the things to add as a finale, why Peachette? Uh, why do I move it? I'm I'm still excited for the game, but I feel like they're gonna do the the fucking voice acting thing again, where some lines will be fully voiced and others won't, and Warrior's voice is gonna be different now too. So, let's move into formation. Like, what what was said? Play with these chops doesn't feel like a prize. Ah! I mean, it's better. Honestly, it is better in terms of how deep it is. Greetings, welcome to the island. Okay, no, it, 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 I think it is fully voiced. Okay, 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 okay. I was worried for a second because it should be fully voiced. Like, go all the way with it, like they did with Warrior Gold. Make it fully voiced. Go all the way. Um. I'm still excited for it. Okay, I, I'm because like they kept doing like they kept taking away from each and every subsequent WarriorWare game, um, and gold is the gold standard. If it, but there's no way it would work on Switch, um, not in its current state. And if it would work on Switch, you'd have to make compromises. So, like Nintendo DS is the or the 3DS rather is the perfect way to experience the best WarriorWare game. There's no other way, but. 
Like, this can at least kind of be a substitute for uh, smooth moves, maybe. I'm still excited for it. I may not pick it up immediately, but I'm still excited for it. Because I, 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 I'm bound to this series for life. Uh, yeah. Okay, Chrono Trigger! I'm surprised they put a fucking Spy Family game in here, and it's very much Anya-focused. It's just literally called Spy Anya. I'm not even surprised. But, like, it makes me laugh, because they really focused on Anya a lot in that trailer. Mario RPG, very, very good. I don't think I have much more to say about that. It's looking very good. I like the different um, abilities that you can get. Or the different, like, spe like power moves. And how there's, like, you can refight bosses that are harder. That are probably made with the intent of using the, the added moves and shit. All the cutscenes are going to be interesting to see. Princess Peach Showtime, I genuinely am interested in. Um, because it looks like a 2D puzzle adventure. I thought it was just going to be hack and slash. I think that's just the sword mode. But I think it's a puzzle adventure game where it's going to be mostly story focused with light bits of changed gameplay every so often to keep it interesting, but under the theme of a, of a theater, of a play. And honestly, changing up the formula with Peach and giving her her own proper video game instead of just emotion, use emotions to win... Um, I think this is a better way of making a Peach game. And it's the second ever official Princess Peach game. And it doesn't have anything to do with Mario, which is also nice. So, you know, props. I like... <laughs> so, yeah, Super Princess Peach is being currently played. You probably can't see it because of how the thing is cropped. But it, the, the game says Super Princess, Pe Prince, Princess Peach is being played. Um... Uh, I have to get back to work soon, but I will say F-099, good choice for a 99 game. Though, much like Pac-Man 99, which I also thought was a good choice, that fell off real quick. But because this is a series that hasn't had a new game in years, it might have a little bit more staying power um, than Pac-Man. Mario 35 could have also stayed, but they kept that limited for some fucking reason. But, uh, you know, Pac-Man fell so that F-Zero could rise. And then we'll see how far that goes before that dies out. Um, and Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. It definitely looks like Luigi's Mansion 2, but HD. <laughs> uh, those are my highlights, really. Fuck. And then we have... Then we have a uh, new map in Among Us is nice. I've been playing with, with some of my uh, fucking Discord friends. Pretty good. But Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door on Switch. That is a goddamn legend. Like, they really just... It really doesn't look that much different than the original, which is just goes to show how good the original looks. Like, they kept extremely true to form. They didn't change any random bullshit. They even kept the fucking picture frame for Paper Mario 64. It just looks like it's better. It just looks like it's cleaner. Much more in line with like the the, the paper style of the of, of the new games. But it also still has that like fucking charm to it. Like the, the papercraft aesthetic is not used to detract from the story. It's used to enhance the story and make it feel like a picture book. Because the game, you could only do so much. But, like, you could really make the papercraft shit look really good in HD. And they do! They really do! They really do! Like, it looks so pretty! It looks so, so pretty! I would love to play this game again. I'm sure, I, I honestly, though, the, the game isn't perfect. And if anything, I hope that they reduce the backtracking or make it easier to backtrack. Because if they wholesale rip literally everything beat for beat, including the bad stuff, um, it's still going to be a great game. But it's like, uh, I would love if they would like cut down on the backtracking or make it easier to backtrack between places, give you like a way to fast travel, give you uh, or something like that. Um, that would be amazing. But that's that's 
really my hold on i actually didn't even check to see if chat was even no nah, no no well there's someone else watching i think but uh yeah that's my thoughts on the on nintendo's direct that happened just now um very very good lots of good drops uh super amazing direct this is and i like a lot if not all of the direct and it was nice and good and you can say disabled dislikes even though you can't see likes and or you can only you can't even see dislikes anyway but they disabled the ability to see them anyway so that's funny um what the fuck is the point uh, Horizon, uh Pers Prince of Persia, also interesting. Like, I'm down for that. I like the booster course shit as well. They showed off one new stage and four new characters. Fucking Peachette. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm gonna post the whole thing here, and then I might highlight some of my, uh, favorite parts of the direct and uh post them to youtube so well you'll already probably see this on youtube so thank you guys for listening and we'll see you for another stream goodbye everyone also good good brawl fan good <laughs>